Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and some breaking news. Get your calendars out and circle out some dates because it is official. Uh, the date for the Springboks World Cup squad announcement has officially been set and uh, you're going to have to set your calendars down to August when you find out which 33 players will be embarking to France to try and retain the Web Illust Trophy. Before we sort of go into some of the details, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well as we sort of look to build up to everything towards the World Cup. So much action still between now and then. Uh, so many big decisions for the Springbok management to make. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, our season gets underway on the 8th of July against Australia in the Rugby Championship. And exactly one month after our first match, the World Cup squad will be announced. Tuesday, the 8th of August, is the date that has been set. Um, the uh, Charles, uh, the Supreme Rock Head of um, Operations Head, Charles Vessels, has announced that the final group uh, will be finalized and revealed on the 8th of August. Um, and that was when I was speaking, uh, speaking on the press conference on Tuesday when the Supreme Rock management uh, were all sort of uh, giving a bit of a brief about what's happening in the various structures and stuff like that. And in there, there we did get a reveal of the final date. Now, the, the biggest sort of question is how many, I suppose, you know, how many sort of spots are still up for grabs, really, and what sort of can still happen? Um, in terms of the schedule, as I said, we play against Australia on the 8th of July. We then play against New Zealand and Argentina. Um, and then we've got a couple of warm-up matches. We're playing against um, Argentina, the All Blacks, and Wales. Uh, the All Blacks happening in Twickenham and Wales in Cardiff before our official World Cup title defence starts the 10th of September. So literally just over a month after the squad will be announced, they'll then have three matches and uh, then it's World Cup time. And, you know, I think if we're looking at that squad of 33, we're probably looking at, a, you know, maybe sort of 28, 29, almost pretty much been finalised. I don't think there's only about three or four spots really um, that are still up for grabs. You know, question marks over players like an Alton Yankees, over players like a France Stein, maybe over players like Archie Sneeman. Uh, you know, I think, and, and a lot of this is a race against fitness, a race against form, um, in terms of which players they think are going to be ready and going to be able to do the job uh, come uh, September. So it's now, you know, it's, it's you know, as a player, you're now sitting there, and I mean, we're literally talking about um, about almost six months to the date, actually, about five, four months to the day. We're sitting in what? In March, so April, May, June, July, August, five months to the day, uh, almost to the day, uh, five months yesterday, actually, the squad is going to be announced. And then as players, you know, it, at the end of the day, if you haven't played for the Spring Box yet, you're not going to the World Cup. That's that, that's 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 just known. You know, I don't think we. I mean, even Hershey Yankees was a bolter. It sort of you know played played already a couple of games by now. Um, and I think that you know, I think a lot of players are very aware of where they stand, and and they've been pretty much told what they've got to do. So I don't think we're going to see a lot of surprises in the squad. I don't think that you know all of a sudden just because there's a date, you know, players are going right. Well, that's you know, I've still got time. I can get myself into the squad. Because we have been building to this World Cup for a number of years and we've been forming a squad and, and, and a group of players to go to the squad also for a number of years. So I don't think we're going to be in for too many surprises. However, that is also kind of, I suppose, the race against time in terms of players being able to get game time. And, you know, so, for example, like somebody, Archeus Neyman, you know, France Day, players who have you know, not had as much game time as we'd like, especially Archeus Neyman, who basically hasn't played for 18 months. He's got, what, March, April, May to put in a string of club performances that proved two things. First of all, that he's fit enough and that he's back to his old bit and then and he's good enough and, and that he can still sort of play at this level and at his level. And he's got about three months to prove that to then maybe try and get a match, maybe two matches, maybe he gets all three matches, uh, you know, in that series. You know, I suppose it comes down to with the spring box sitting there going, right, well, we know that Lua Diaga, Evan Edzabeth, Frank Amasa continue to perform at really high levels. Who's going to be our other lock? You know, do we give Arkis name and three matches and see if he can do it? And if not, we then take Marvin Ori. Uh, you know, the fact that I think Marvin Ori's been involved in these training camps means that he is obviously the fourth choice lock at the moment. Obviously, things can change. Uh, so there's a lot still to be answered before that date. Um, but I don't think as much as maybe in certain other squads where there could potentially still be some places up for grabs. Um, but, John, let me know if you think of any other sort of potential players who might sort of be surprise picks in the squad. As I said, we are five months away, so we've got plenty of time to speculate. Uh, we will start be doing a sort of almost a weekly block barometer and start looking at that 33-man squad and how it might look uh, come the 8th of August. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.